Hello and welcome back to chapter 7, lecture number 54, the final lecture. So what we're going to do is add some extra or two extra cameras for different angles. Before we do that, I want to make one small extra addition on the water and that is uh, small waves because uh, we didn't do that. So you go through the object data and I want to have a, uh, to say, different vertex group. Yeah, I call this wavy. Exactly. Then you go to weight paint and do, 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 full weight paint and yeah, I want to have a long radius. And there we go. So on the red area, there will be sort of small water rimples. Rimples, that's better. So I won't touch the, let's go there. I won't touch the uh, terrain because uh, in my opinion, we, 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 that doesn't look good. But you can add a small amount, but very small. In these areas you want some sort of very small waves. It's not really waves, it's just that uh, it doesn't look just like a flat surface. So we continue doing this. So on this area we'll have some wavy like this, and then we have some more right there. And all around. And then we wash it out, just adding less. First we create and then we remove. All right, so very gentle from this angle. I think we should have a bit more wavy area on this spot. It looks good. All right, so that will be cool. Now go to modifiers. We add a subdivision surface. And we adding a displacement. For the displacement, I want to have a uh, water wavy. Just calling it like this, and then we go to the texture. It's easy to find. Image open, and this is stored in my texture tab. It is in my texture tab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh. There it is. To two core textures, and then it's stored in nature. Uh, organic. Ah, that's the one. I prepared it so good, <laughs> and I just lost it. All right, and then the water. There we have. So now you see my library. So it's very wavy. And uh, we go back to the modifier, and we want to have local. This time, because we do not work with the UVs this time. 0 0.03 is a strength. That will be strong enough. And you can increase the amount of waves right there. And we want to have the vertex groove, wavy. So now it will wash out right there if you look. There is some wavy. We want, of course, object shade smooth. All right. So let's leave this for now. You'll definitely see, definitely see this in the end result. And you want to have a value of 3 for the rendering. Yes, and lower the viewport amount. It's only slowing down your computer. All right, so camera perspectives. Well, I'd like to go to Add. You go for Camera. So we now have a new camera. We direct this to the top. And go to the viewport. No. We have it selected. And you go to a View, Camera, Set, Active, object as camera so now the one you created the one in the air is facing downwards is now your selected camera so we want to go to item and rotate this by 90 degrees so it's now facing the right direction let's close this tab go to z uh, zero shift scroll wheel shift title and i want to drag this to the rear something like this area and shift title and let's have a perspective of 30, uh, focal length of 30. Let's enable the trees. All right, so there are a lot of 
objects trees so now you want to just everything selected before you go into render and you want to have your IV branch okay so select the camera is not selected everything is selected instead of the camera so left click on it it's sort of not going well I cannot select my camera what is going on <laughs> this, it is not working so go my camera zero one select it so back to the camera so we have a perspective of 30 focal length shift the title and you don't want to see the sort of cross in the um, in the end so be aware of that so move this upwards shift the title and maybe zoom in a little bit more maybe a bit more to the front that will do I want to have this tree on the right yeah that's the one I was looking for maybe zoom out I mean this is just very playful <laughs> so what I'm trying to find is a nice spot where we have trees surrounded in this tree and the castle uh, but you don't want the castle to be uh, out of focus all right so this is uh, a scary area all right so this is one camera then we go to add camera so we have a new one and same for this one change this by 90 degrees and so close it and I lost my camera again where's my camera that's the one control Z it's not how I'm going to I want it and it's freezing all right I'm just trying to select my camera for some reason there it is whoosh <laughs> and we go to do, 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 a view camera set active cameras object there you are you little cunt and shift tile and I want to have a very nice perspective on this area shift tile and just change the focal length a bit more so we have more area I think this is a very nice area um, what I like to do is adding a little bit of depth of field you go to your viewport display you want to have limits and you want to have this cross let's say doo -doo, where's the cross it's there but limits depth of field there it is distance you want to increase the distance so it's hitting the the medieval wall and then you have a nice view on it all right so very important before you go to render is check if every, all your walls have uv map selected otherwise it looks terribly bad and that one as well the main one is already good great so what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of renders and then we're finished so thanks for watching this lecture and I'm probably going to add more bonus uh, lectures uh, for some chapters uh, if there is a request for something that people need um, I've got lots of ideas to continue uh, like using this castle in a real-time environment for your Unreal, the Unreal Engine uh, but this is the end of the course so we've created lovely environments uh, we did it with a lot of passion I loved it I hope you loved it um, it, uh, it took a long time and I know that's quite uh, heavy to do but you made it you made it till the end and I'm proud of you 
So I hope you enjoyed it and probably maybe see you the next time for a new course. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>